Hi, I'm Carl Purcell, and today I'm going to do a short demonstration on how I use Tombow brush pens to do a value study for a painting. I've always liked to do a study to determine where I'm putting the darkest darks and the lightest lights within the format. That takes some of the mystique out of the painting. I'm, I can still allow a lot of things to happen while I'm painting, but I, I've got a good idea of where I'm going. So for years, I did drawings like this in my sketchbook using a 6B drawing pencil. It gave me a good range of values, fairly decent, but of course I never felt like putting them all in. This, this is a nice little drawing I did on the spot up in uh, Cache Valley, Utah, the old barn. It was raining and uh, so I did this from the inside my car. About a 15 minute drawing. Not a great deal of detail, but it explains where I'm putting the lights and darks. But it doesn't go to the deep blacks and it doesn't give me a lot of light grays that I, I just, you know, for the sky, for example, it's a very light gray, but I, I did put that in the drawing. So these are Tombow brush pens. Uh, they come in a set of 10 of varying grays, but I found that I only use about four of them. And I did a little test strip, and, and I'd suggest you do this with them to see what numbers, because the numbers don't help and the, and the cap colors don't really help a lot. So I found that number 95 and number 60 and number 55 and 15 gave me the range from lighter gray to the black. So that's the four that I use. Then, I sit down and do, in a format, I use a, a piece of four by six mat board to give myself a, a definable space format. And then I do the drawing in there with a ballpoint pen. I, uh, I, I like a, a zebra pen because the, <clears throat> the Tombow pens won't smir uh, smudge them and bleed the ink. So I start with a light gray for everything that is not going to be white. And I'll just lay that in quickly. This isn't a finished drawing, it's just a plan for the values. And a little shadow there. Everything that is not going to be white. This is a very light, this is number 95. And I want some really strong light there. Piece over here. And using that previous drawing in pencil as a kind of guide. Let me shift this over, maybe you can see. No, This is not a drawing about detail. It's about placement of lights, darks, and grays. Now I'll shift to a number 60. See, this is, there we go. And I'm gonna put in some darker values, particularly the trees, for example, here. Letting the strokes kind of follow the direction of growth. Once again, I am not trying to get a lot of detail. It's not about drawing things, it's about drawing patterns. And 
and I keep an eye on the drawing all the time, not on the stuff, I'm not copying anything. And here. Looking at these values, connecting. Can cast shadow across that sh shape back in there. And now for the darkest darks that really add the punch, <clears throat> the contrast. This in here. Right where I want the the area of dominance of I want the, the eye to stop right here. So that's where I'll keep the strongest contrast. Your eye will move along similar values, but it'll stop where there's a a strong contrast of values. So I'm gonna put one more here. Here I can have dark against gray, it's not a big deal. Here I want dark against light. And a lot of littler things happening. Okay. The other end of the pen has a brush end and a pen end. So this I can do some linear work with. Some scribble work. I mean, this is not a finished drawing, it's simply something to tell me where I'm going with my darks and lights. And I'm going to go back to the this. Sixty uh, little cast shadow across the corner of that just to change the shape so it's not too boring and maybe some uh,
darker values I'm sure to just describe that roof line just a little bit more. I want the darks to connect up through here. <clears throat> There's a little value plan for my painting. If I follow that, it should be a fairly decent painting. At least my values have been worked out in advance. <clears throat> 